So, Mike, you were the original people that were there that day on, on September 20th? Figured it out. On September 7th. <laughs> Mike, who, who were those original dudes? It's not Apple. You delete that. Yeah. Do it better. Yeah. Strike that from the record. Yeah. I'll strike so that part. Guy, I yeah. promise. Me, Rob Bell, Scud, Xander, Grape, Tom Tom. Uh, oh, yeah. Yep. Ronan. Uh, Casey. Evan, uh, Sarah Heather. Page. Other Anna, ah, sure. Carlos and the girls being uh, uh, Tanya and, and Rasham, yep. uh, fucking Russell, Sarah, Zegum's sister Sarah. Sarah Bo, who's they? But, but then, I mean, you take it to the, who spent the night on September 17th. Oh, yeah, so there's only... Oh, yeah, September 17th, yeah. Me yeah. and Rob and Scud and Xander. Delta. Tom Tom. No, no, Delta, Delta was Delta even didn't there, even dude. come until like a month, like it was month just and a half. Me and my Fort Mason crew and Rob. You know. And then know. the next day people came by like Adam were like, You guys are still here? <laughs> <laughs> we're occupying. And what was yeah, even was better five, 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 was when the bank the manager and the building America security manager came out and said, You guys are still here? We said, Yeah, well how long do you plan on doing this? Could be a week, a month, uh, how about we get back to you on that? Right? <laughs> So then I work, you know, we work out the terms of occupation. We'd be there for about two weeks. We wouldn't impinge too close to their property. We had our first, we had our first arrest. Our, our first version of that, that NPN was, uh, this guy Richard got drunk and climbed up onto the black heart of oligarchy at 555 California <laughs> and started ripping shit. <laughs> Eleven coppers wrestled this guy onto the ground, into the van, back onto the ground, into the van. He pops up at four o'clock in the next morning. What's up, guys? And we had our first dilemma. Should we get you know, all are welcome but not all can stay or should. You know, what's best for everybody involved? At that time a small group gets a lot of attention in the early days of the Occupy. So we start hey, off in a spirit of that plane, compliance that and cooperation with the authorities. And everything what? was fixed. Security guards were bringing us bags and hamburgers, McDonald's. Oh, right, we right. did the donation jar this after some of us really ran out of right money. Here. We just had the jar. And <laughs> we, we really uh, moderated things well in the beginning, you know. It, I think the model worked so well that when it grew really big after the, uh, what's that? Uh, well, it was the, it was the, um, you mean when we got to 25,843 uh, no, square feet of people when, or when 210? Bunch, when we picked up about 75 people was after this big music festival here called the, what's the music festival? The Bluegrass. Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. Hardly, Hardly strictly, strictly Bluegrass. And there was a concurrent march with that. And we retained about 75 people. It was awesome. Wow. Everything was still cool. We started to surround the Fed. And then we got hit. And, uh... Then even more people joined when we were at the Justin Herman whoa, Plaza, whoa, and that's whoa. when it with, started. With, with Hardly Strictly, with, with Hardly Strictly, that Saturday of Hardly Strictly, I remember what day it was, the end of September, beginning of October, but like that day was exploding, because I came back that Saturday night, like and we were, September we had, 28th, or no, 29th, 29th, and we, uh, we, uh, they popped tents and I sat there and I had got the biggest boner in the world, I was like, yes, no more sleeping outside in the fucking rain, <laughs> yeah! yeah! Thank God. This is so real. The uh, safety net that we provided for our kindred was tighter than the safety net in the greater society, you know, which is so, the the thread, the warp and warp, the warp and weave of the thing is so huge that people are constantly falling through it. They provide to cling on to the fucking safety net. It doesn't catch you, you know, and... I, uh, you know what, if, if Occupy is going to be like a homeless advocacy movement and the 99% is going to be this weird multi-dimensional liberal thing, cool, then I want every homeless person in every city in America to congregate on your nearest occupied zone and show people how to live. Empower yourselves. Take this houseless situation and turn it into such a liberated state that the whole world becomes your living room. And that way we'll get to know people closer and closer because we're living 
in the most extreme circumstances possible in America right now. And we're trying to prevent it from getting any worse. Okay. And then work on reversing it. Let me stop right here for a second. This is great footage.